So why did stocks begin to go up today? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions here with a quick little live stock market update. Wanted to update you guys on TQQQ's performance. It closed at 3.7%. If I'm not mistaken, the NASDAQ market gained 1.3% on the day. Very good news, very exciting. I'm not here to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm here to be a Debbie Downer. I, you guys know that I want the market to recover just like all of you guys, right? I'm even invested in a very light position in TQQQ, $800 profit, hooray, right? Why did the market go up? The market is factoring in the big earnings that are to be reported tomorrow. With that being said, if the set expectations are not met, whatever was factored into the market will most likely pull back. That simple. If you guys are unaware, both Google and Microsoft, both at a trillion dollar market cap, and Alphabet, right, the different ticker symbol, all three of these report earnings tomorrow. And no, it's not gonna be right at market open that these companies report earnings. That would be too easy. It's gonna be after you have to go all of tomorrow with all the uncertainty, after the market closes, that's what the AMC stands for, after the market closes, then, they report earnings. Again, I can't stress this enough. It's Today was fine. Today, uh, because the market ended up recovering somewhat of what it lost the previous two days, I feel like people are getting very excited, and rightfully so. You should prepare, right? You should prepare for a market recovery. If you, get, if you guys look at this for TQQQ, we're at pretty much at a double bottom for TQQQ. You guys know more than anyone, right? I love to encourage you to prepare for a better future. But if these earnings for this upcoming week, because yeah, Google and Microsoft are reporting earnings tomorrow, but then we have Facebook, we have Apple and Amazon reporting earnings on Wednesday and Thursday. And if they are not better than set expectations, that will get factored into the market and we will or potentially continue to drop. So I just want you guys to be aware of it. I want you guys to put yourself in a position to succeed. So even if, the market does pull back a little bit more. I'm okay with keeping 20K in, in TQQQ. I can tolerate that, right? And that's the same question that I would begin to ask you. My intention with TQQQ is I don't need to sell it anytime soon. I can tolerate the time that it will take for the market to recover. Why? Because in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, and please share yours down in the comment section. In my opinion, the market's so cheap right now that even if it does take an additional two weeks, four weeks, you know, a couple of months, I can tolerate this. I'm trying to put myself in a position that I'm not just thinking about worst case scenario. I mean, best case scenario, my apologies, that I'm not thinking just about best case scenario, but I'm also taking worst case scenario into consideration. It's not that I'm scared. It's not that you should be scared. It's that you should be prepared and to understand to not put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. That's what I'm most excited about. So is it a bad time to invest? No, uh, there's deals are among us, right? I, I feel like a year or two years from now, if the market does end up recovering, we're gonna look back and be like, oh dang, man, I wish I would have bought more, right? Just like the 2020 pandemic when it hit, right? It's not that anyone knew where the bottom was, but it's that our job isn't to predict the future, it's simply to prepare for it. So that's what this video is all about. Why did the market go up today? The market went up or TQQ went up 3.7% because it has a big focus on tech and also big tech stocks are reporting earnings tomorrow. Google and um, Microsoft. I need you guys to be aware of that. Your job is to prepare. If you end up absolutely killing it tomorrow and the market goes up and you're fully invested, then congratulations. But also, if the market dumps and you were fully invested, then that's the position that you put yourself in. All I ever want to encourage you to do is to look out not only for the best case scenario, but even at the worst case scenario that you can stay effective, right?
We have a saying within my Learn Plan Profit group, and it's don't judge me on my character on my green days, but judge me on how I carry myself on my red days. I feel like that says a lot about a trader. I wish you guys nothing but the best. General Motors, if I'm not mistaken, uh, does report earnings tomorrow as well. And that one, uh, General Electric, uh, tomorrow as well. And that's before the market open. That's a pretty big one. Visa, after market close. General Motors, after market close. And then we have, um, yeah, all these other ones down the list. Again, if you guys have any questions, especially if you're absolutely new to trading, I would love to answer them for you. All you have to do is the first link in the description. It's my free Discord chat. Send me a message, join my free Discord chat, um, and again, network with other like-minded traders. If you wanna take trading to your next level and you're an absolute beginner and you wanna be able to watch me trade live every single day, then I'd love to invite you to my live trading session. I trade live every morning. I'm gonna be live tomorrow and I would love for you to be there. If you guys wanna join, that's that second link down below and I work with the Learn Plan Profit 2.0 team literally every single day at Market Open. I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that it earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I upload new videos every single day. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.